Are you one of the companies that confuse NIST SP800-171 and the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification as being the same? Did you know that they were two separate entities with different requirements? Keep watching and we'll provide you with the differences between the two and help you prepare for both. The new buzzword in government contracting is CMMC, which stands for the Cybersecurity Maturity Model. In the wonderful world of CMMC, the government has began cracking down on third-party companies that are sending a false message that they can get companies certified under CMMC. The fact is, no company can say that right now because no company has been certified to perform this function yet. With that said, this video is provided to help prepare you for CMMC. However, it is not to guarantee your certification. We at Baseline decided to provide you with the differences between NIST SP800-171 requirements and the CMMC requirements so that you can be on the lookout for false information and promises. Let's begin with NIST SP800-171. This document was developed to provide guidance for the Defense Federal Acquisition Regulation Supplement or DFARS Clause 252.204-7012. Throughout the rest of the video, we'll refer to these documents as as the NIS 171 and DFARS 7012. The original DFAR 7012 clause dated October 2006 states that all contracting companies that were currently or preparing to conduct business with the federal government needed to comply with the 110 controls listed in the NIST 800171 by December 31, 2017. This DFARS clause is currently being utilized in contracts, which means companies are still required to comply with it. This means if you have bid on or are currently bidding on a contract with this clause in it, then you are required to be compliant with the 110 controls of NIST 800-171. And you could or should be required to provide your SSP and POAM as compliance documents to determine your level of risk to the federal agencies. There is no certification requirement under NIST 800-171. Chapter 3 of NIST 800-171 states that federal agencies may consider a contractor's system security plan or SSP and their plan of action and milestones or POAM as critical inputs to the overall risk management decision. This system was basically set up as a self-certified honor system. Contractors could develop the two documents and claim they were compliant. As time went on, the government found that that is exactly what was happening. Contractors were saying they were compliant with NIST 800-171 when they really were not compliant at all. This led to the creation of the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification or CMMC. The government decided to develop a certification process to ensure contractors were compliant with a basic set of cybersecurity controls and the CMMC was developed. Here are a list of facts about the CMMC. DFAR 7012 does not address the CMMC. It only addresses NIST 800-171. A new DFARS clause or an amendment to the current DFARS clause is being prepared to address the CMMC. CMMC incorporates all of the controls of the NIST 800-171. CMMC also incorporates additional controls from other guides. CMMC certification procedures have not been written. The CMMC has only provided guidance that allows companies to prepare for certification. CMMC requires official certified companies known as Certified Third Party Assessment Organizations or C3PAOs as the only companies that can audit and certify companies as a CMMC certified company. These companies will have CMMC trained assessors on their staff to conduct these certification audits. The companies and assessors have not been trained as of April 2020. None are in existence. The CMMC Accreditation Board or CMMCAB will provide a list of C3PAOs after companies have successfully completed the training. At this time, no company can currently certify you under CMMC. There are five levels of CMMC. Please see my other video for the details of the CMMC that describes the different levels. There are two important documents companies should familiarize themselves with and they are the new NIST SP800-171 version 2 and the new CMMC version 1. Visit the NIST 800 series webpage for all new versions of NIST documents. Please visit the CMMC webpage for the current CMMC official documents. So the big question is, 
What can you do right now? Or what should you do right now? The first thing is to focus on the NIST 800-171 and the DFARS Clause 7012 because that's what's required right now. And the DFARS 7012 Clause still appears in current contracts. Hire a security analyst on your staff or reach out to a third party organization to guide you through the control implementation if you are not sure how to implement the security controls. Implementing the security controls in NIST 800-171 helps prepare you for the CMMC. But do not assume that if you implement those controls that you are now CMMC certified or guaranteed to get CMMC certified because the rules are still being written for the CMMC certifications. However, you should be really close and any additional requirements should be minimal. Stop asking how to get CMMC certified until companies are trained to certify you. This question cannot be answered. Getting this 171 compliant is the best preparation for CMMC. The CMMC requirements are being phased in over the next five years. Only 10 RFIs will have a CMMC requirement starting in June of 2020. Each quarter, there will be an increase in these RFIs over the next five years, at which time full implementation of CMMC will be introduced to all contracts. Until the new DFARS clause is developed or amended, you are still required to meet the NIST 800-171 controls. June is the scheduled date because we expect the first round of CMMC auditors to be trained by then. With the consideration of the new coronavirus situation, please be prepared for these dates to change. In summary, the new CMMC model was released in January 2020, and the CMMC Accreditation Board was established in January 2020. No official certification for CMMC has been established yet, and until the first round of assessors are certified, there will be no RFIs or RFPs presented with a CMMC requirement. There is no DFARS clause available for CMMC, however, DFAR 7012 is still used in current contracts for this SP 800-171 implementation. Stay tuned for more updates. The government has provided a very aggressive timeline to begin this process in the spring and rolling out the first RFIs and RFPs with the CMMC requirements in the summer. If you have any questions, you can email us at information at baselineva.com. Please post any questions or inputs below and we'll address them in a future video. Thank you.